hi guys welcome back to the channel i haven't vlogged in a little bit so i'm excited to film today i'm gonna do a full week in my life vlog this week today's tuesday it's also november 2nd so it's a brand new month which i'm really excited about it's the month of thanksgiving you know it's just good vibes the holidays are starting and everyone that i know is already starting to listen to christmas music and I have listened to Christmas music a few times, but you know, I don't really want to start that until later in the month. I feel like it's just a little bit too soon for all the, you know, Christmas stuff. But I want to show y'all this recipe that I'm about to make right now. I'm going to make taco soup, which I'm very excited about. I've never made it before, but this is a Pinterest recipe and Richard's sister makes this and he said it was really good so I asked her for the link that she used and she sent me this so I'll put it in the description but it calls for a ranch packet beans tomatoes corn rotel onion powder beef broth a taco pack and obviously ground beef so I'm gonna make this really quick I'm not gonna make it in a crock pot I'm just gonna use a regular pot so it should be easy. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Let's get cooking. So far I've browned and drained the beef. I added the taco packet. I still have to find a ranch packet and I added some corn. I added one can of corn. I'm pretty sure it calls for, actually I think it calls for one can, but I don't know, I might do more. And then I added some beef broth. And then I have to add possibly more corn. I still gotta add the tomatoes, the rotel, the beans, everything like that, and the ranch packet and the seasonings, but this is what it's looking like so far. Final product. I wanted to give y'all an update on this lotion that I got off of Amazon. I talked about this a couple of vlogs ago, and I actually really, really like it. I got it off of Amazon. It's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, but the reason that I got this is because I was getting stretch marks on my boobs, and I also have stretch marks on, like, my hips area. Like, yeah, I guess, like, my hips area, which the stretch marks on my hips are like more white and I haven't really noticed a difference in that area which those literally don't bother me at all but the stretch marks on my boobs are more like discolored and they're more like red and I actually have noticed a difference since I've started using that I use it every single night when I get out of the shower I put it all over like my chest I put it on my stomach I put it on my thighs my hips like everywhere that I could get stretch marks and I've seen the stretch marks on my boobs kind of lighten up a little bit so honestly I guess it's because of this I mean I don't see any other thing it could be from so I just wanted to give y'all an update on that I'll link it if y'all are interested and let me know in the comments if y'all have used that and if it works for y'all because I've seen a difference in that one little area so just let me know if it's been working for you but I'll link it in case anybody's interested hi guys I just finished getting ready my hair is all curled. I did my makeup. I actually like how it turned out. I mean, I did like my normal everyday routine for my makeup and my hair. And then I have my hair back in this little clip, like half up, half down. I'm not sure if I really like the way that the hair is looking, but I'm gonna make a coffee really quick. And the whole reason that I got all dolled up right now in the first place is because 
I have to film a video and I have to take some photos for Princess Polly. So that's what I'm about to do right now, but I figured I would just film myself making coffee because I always do that. Um, and I also have a few like fun, not like announcements, but like I have a few fun, exciting things that I can't wait to share with y'all. And I'm going to be able to share with you guys soon. Is this straw like ridiculously too big? It definitely is. But who cares? Should I just go ahead and tell you guys like what... Um, the fun things are. Well, I can tell you one of them. One I want to wait to share. Um, I will say that one is 100% going down and happening, which I'm going to share with y'all soon. Like, just an exciting life update, basically. And then this thing that I'm going to share right now is just like something fun, which I'm not sure if we're actually going to do, but me and Eleanor have been talking about wanting to start a podcast. And if you don't know who Eleanor is, and you probably are not like an avid watcher of my channel because she's in like basically, she makes an appearance in most of my videos. But if you don't know who she is, she's my cousin. And we went to LA together pretty recently. So go watch my LA vlogs if you haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, we want to start a podcast. And we're not sure if it's 100% yet. We've just been like basically talking about it for like a week now. And we don't know if once we start, we're even going to want to continue to do it or if it's something that's just kind of sounds fun that we're not actually going to be really committed to. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you get like a bright idea and then it never really works out. So we don't know if it's going to be like something like that or if we're even going to like the whole podcast atmosphere. But as of right now, it's definitely fun to, it's been like kind of fun to talk about and brainstorm. So let me know if you guys like podcasts, if y'all listen to podcasts, let me know where you listen to your podcasts, Apple Music, Spotify, or if there's another platform to listen to podcasts, let me know because I'm actually very curious. And if you are into the idea of us starting a podcast, let me know if you would listen because I'm actually curious, like, are people actually going to listen or would y'all just listen because... You might be interested in what we have to talk about or if you just like podcasts already so you're gonna add ours to the list i don't know and then what kind of things do you want to hear from us because i just i'm excited i feel like it could be like really fun so just let me know in the comments what you guys think but make the coffee i'm gonna go outside and take some photos for princess polly if you're wondering what my code is, I have it, I'll have it linked in the description box. I'll also put it on the screen right here, but I got this really cute sweater from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with it. Look at the sleeves. How fun. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now, but I wanted to update you guys. I'll also share my makeup routine pretty soon. It's nothing special, but I actually really like the way it looks. Yeah, just wanted to update y'all. The coffee is really about to hit. Okay, I just had myself a little experience. So I decided I did not want Starbucks. I don't know why, I'm just so tired of Starbucks. So I went to just like a local coffee shop. It's called Coffee on Rayford in Selma. And it's really good. I got a Nutella iced coffee. So that's really good. And then I went into an antique store, which I used to go into antique stores like all the time. But I haven't been in any antique stores in a while. But I got two things, which I wasn't expecting to actually buy anything. I just wanted to go in there and look around. And this specific one that I went to was like, it might have been three stories. Actually, it was three stories. And I was just like in-depthly looking at like everything. Because I feel like antique stores just, they're just so cool. They like really interest me. And this didn't have like furniture. Well, it had some furniture. But it wasn't like a furniture store. It was more of just like little like trinket items like there was a lot of um plates and dinnerware and like 
I don't know, just like China and things like that. But I found this really cool little clutch bag that I'm not sure if the camera like even picks it up, but how cool is this? I thought this was like the coolest little thing and I put my phone in here. It definitely holds my phone. It'll probably hold like phone, chapstick, keys, something like that. But how cute. I just think this is so cute. It like gives me very like 20s vibes. It kind of reminds me of my grandma um, on my dad's side. So she just like always wore things like this. And I just feel like this made, made me think of her. And it was only $12. <laughs> and also this doesn't have any like stains or anything on it. Which a lot of the other ones had like stains. Or they were like the gold was kind of rusting a little bit so i was like okay i don't want any of those but this one i just thought was really pretty and i was like you know what one day when i have like a wedding or like a little bridal shower or something to go to like how cute would this be to carry you know just like a little antique little clutch so i got that and then i also got this plate which how freaking cute i am obsessed with this plate i wish it had like when it was made but this was this gives me like 1920s vibes or like 50s or something this is just so pretty you know how some people have like pretty plates hanging in their house i feel like this could be pretty for that but also like even to eat on i just think this is so cute and my mom is really obsessed with um like the blue and white china plates and i like those too but i really like stuff like this that almost looks like every plate's different like not every plate is the exact same so i was really vibing with that i saw a bunch of plates like this honestly it was very tempting to like buy a lot but i was like you know what i didn't really come in here to buy anything but i thought those were like good collectible items you know what i mean i feel like i'll have them forever and i just i really was vibing with them but this coffee's really good it looks like it's gonna rain right now low-key and it's kind of starting to get like even warmer outside. It's just North Carolina weather is the most confusing thing, I swear. So confusing. But I'm gonna go home and I wanna clean. I really wanna like clean my room, my bathroom, like vacuum, dust, mop, all that fun stuff. Really get in there, disinfect. So I'll probably do that when I get home. what my life has come to right now i'm really upset about the time change i think it changed a couple days ago and i'm not used to it i get off work at four and the sun is down by like 5 30. so right now it's five this is the time or this is the current sunset situation the sun's basically down i mean it's still pretty light outside but i was like I really don't need to get on my computer or like lay down or anything you know like don't need to take a nap or anything I need to like enjoy the little tiny amount of daylight that's left in today so I've been sitting out here I'm literally in a lawn chair I'm about to continue reading my book that I showed you guys I think in my last vlog um, but if you didn't see that last vlog you should go watch it but this is the book I'm reading it's called Verity by this author named Colleen Hoover and I really really like it I'm on chapter 13 and I am very into it this is how done with it I am so I'm a little bit over halfway there and I really really like it it's a like a romance but it's also kind of like a thriller 
I guess. It's definitely like a little bit of a mystery. I'm very into this book. And this is my dog that I was like, I need to come out here and like spend some time with my dog and enjoy the sunlight while it's still out. So that's the update of my day. I literally came home, changed into comfy clothes and now I'm here. So I'm gonna knock out probably a few chapters of this book. And also I'm not, I'm not typically a reader which is it's it's very weird for me that i am outside reading because that's not anything that i've ever done before like i've read books before but none that I, i've just like basically read books for school purposes not for enjoyment purposes and so the fact that um this is basically like the first book that i've read for enjoyment and i'm actually in love with it i feel like really says a lot so check this book out if you want to and this author a lot of people in the last vlog left a lot of comments saying to read a book called it ends with us and i really wanted that one originally so at least it gives me something to look forward to but i'm really into this one um maybe i should start a book club ah no i'm kidding okay bye